Suspected jihadists have massacred more than 130 civilians over the weekend in central Mali. The government announced the dates on Monday after alarming social media reports talked of houses and hearts being burnt and of abductions. Let's take a look. Local officials described scenes of systematic killings by armed men in the Alas Sago and two surrounding towns in the Bakas Sago, a hotbed of militant violence. Nahom Togo, who lives in the main town in the area, managed to escape the killings. Nahom Togo, president of the USR party and friend to victims, said that when the militants came, they asked for the people who are not Muslims in the Fulani language and took them out at two kilometer range and systematically shot them. He added that their mutilated bodies were discovered the next day. Since 2012, Mali has been rocked by an insurgency by groups linked to Al-Qaeda and the so-called Islamic State group, plunging the country into crisis. Violence that began in the north has since spread to the center and to neighboring Burkina Faso and Niger. Civilians are often subjected to reprisals by jihadists who accuse them of collaborating with the enemy 